Welcome back to Factory Town, folks. I don't think we're producing enough grain because this barn is quite simply empty all the time. And I think it's because these farms can't output fast enough. So I want to try and stick in an extra shoot here and put a grower on and see if that helps. And I think it will. So let's try that for two of the farms now. And see if that doesn't help producing enough. Because we're not producing enough milk. And basically all of these are for milk production. Alright, so now it's going up. So the question is, do we need to make two inputs for each of these? And we might, might need to do that, which is pretty insane. Because we, we just don't have enough. We just don't have enough. We don't have enough animal feed and these are at max and they are basically producing all the time not this one though this one not either the middle one is but the rest are not producing all the time so let's try and do this logistics block grabber there all right So that should get this going constantly, and it is, and the barn here is filling up slowly, so that's good. Alright, so we're going to do this for all the farms, oops, and put in this thing. Uh, what is called the arch wood arch I think yeah and some shoots there and a grabber there all right so all of the farms now have double outputs which means that this is going up quite fast so we need to let's just remove all of this and we'll put in one there and one there which needs a grabber so let's put that in immediately before I forget and then we will put in oh wait that was wrong that was wrong because... well it's not entirely wrong but a little bit wrong because this needs to come over here like that and so the and up top is the same. And there we go. All right. And then it's the last one, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, maybe not. We we can do it. We can do it. So it needs to come up one. At least I think actually two. So like that. And we'll let it come over here. And then we need 
like that. You come out here, then you come out here, there and there, and put in a grabber like that. And then we will. Well, how do we get the last one over there? Hmm. I haven't left myself enough space. I think what I'll do is I'll delete these four. Yeah, let's let's do that. It should be fine. So let's move these. And uh, let's delete these, which means that we now can get a shoot in here, like that, and put a grabber on it. Is that the right spot? No. Right. Fine. Let's tear everything down and do it from the bottom up. There. Distance block grabber there. And then these scaffold blocks. Like so. And now we can put this in. Alright. And the final piece of the puzzle is the grabber. All right. So that should get us producing a lot more. Oh yeah. A lot more. Animal feed, which will see us produce a lot more. Milk, which will see us produce a lot more. Cheese and so on and so forth. So that is great. That is great. All right. Good, good, good. Okay. I am good with this. So that should work now. A little bit better. Hopefully start filling up some cheese here and stuff. Sandwiches and everything else is fine, but cheese could do with a bit of a boost. I actually think we need to put in for the sandwiches. Let's do it. Uh, compute block, inventory sensor. This is our sandwich producer, right? Yeah. And let's offset it to here. Whoops. Wrong button. I always forget that it's the right mouse button I need to use there. I don't know why. So where to go there? New item filter sandwich. There. And then we will build a math block saying less than, let's say, 100. Then you can go. And you will connect to there, you will connect to the grabber that I am going to put in here. Alright. And we don't have a barn for it, but it is what it is. That is something I need to remember for my next playthrough. I want to have barns for everything. Everything. Alright. Good, good. So once the sandwiches drop, drop below 100, then we will start producing them again. And we really should be doing the same for the rest, but we'll do that later, because right now it's not even close to being a problem. The sandwiches one was the only one that was getting a little bit dicey. Alright. So, 
Last at the end of the last episode, I said we were going to take a look at the mana reactor. So let's do that because I really want to get this stuff going. And since it is magic stuff, we are going to be having it over here somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where because I feel like we're kind of filling up everywhere that it could be. But for now, we can stick it down somewhere like here and just have a look at it. So it will produce Omni Stone with a Fire Crystal, a Water Crystal, an Earth Crystal, an Air Crystal, 10 purple coins. Wow. And Mana Power. And it takes 30 seconds. Holy moly. That's a long time. All right. So that will mean that we need a mine for all of these four. I think we can do one mine for all four. Yeah. So let's find out where we want to do this. Where do we want to do this? I mean, I suppose we could do it over here, but we kind of decided that all of our magic stuff would be over in this area. Suppose there could be space for it here, maybe. Hmm. Or out here. You know what? I think out here. Let's remove some resources, shall we? Um, so, remove all of this stuff. And let's remove this stuff as well. And just down here so that we have a nice big area to work with and we need to let's build the mine mine build it hmm kind of want it somewhere like here we're going to have to level up some terrain Which looks a little bit weird, but so be it. Right. So is that enough space for a mine? Uh, where is the mine? There it is. That is enough space for a mine. Excellent. So you are going to make Firestone, Airstone, Waterstone, and Earthstone. Which means we need. Uh, let's first plant some of this stuff. We'll place Firestone. Something like that. Then we will. Airstone. We don't have any of that stored up, so we need to farm some of that. Let's take something else. And Earthstone, we do have, so it'll be something like that. And then Waterstone, we do have as well. And then it's just the airstone, so we actually have a ton of coal in here. Let's build another barn. We can just copy this one, I guess. And get another harvester drill and tell you to pick up airstone and stick in there. 
Right, so that will give us our airstone. So what we need is four earth shrines. One there. One there. One there. And one there. Alright. And then we need mana power for it. How oh, are we going to find space for that? I suppose we could put it up here. So let's do that. Let's put you there. You there. I think we're going to need five. Let's remove some of these stones. And then we need a receiver. And we need some belts there. We need some splitters there, there, and there. And then we need some pipe. So you come up to there, to there, there, there. And go all the way down here. Then we'll make our bypasses. Like so. Okay. And then we just basically need to grab some earth crystals, which we have down here somewhere. Here. And let's build a caravan. And grab some of you. And we'll move the grab caravan and stick them in. And that should get our mining going over here. Right. Delete you. Go underground and take a look, and everything looks just fine. Excellent. All right. So we should have some air stone now. A bit, not enough though. But we can fill in some of the other stuff. So let's place some firestone down here. There. Place some earth stone down here. I don't quite have enough of that. And then place some water stone up here and there we go almost done okay so that's that done then we need our where, where did we put down the uh, oh there it is let's move you just I think I want you up here or something. Yeah. Something like that. And you just need mana power. So let's remove some resources here. Don't really need them. And let's just flatten it a little bit move you uh, here I think will work and build a barn because you definitely need to output into a barn right and stick that in there then we need these outputs. And I think I want four different outputs going up here. Which we can do. 
which we can do because I've left space for it. So it will have to go on conveyors. Uh, let's pause. The logistics block grabber. And since this already has fire on it, then let's set it to fire stone. All right. And that will... Uh, do we want it going into a barn? I think we do. I think we want all of it going into a barn, so let's not do that. And... you copy this barn up here and it will just fit beautiful and let's make double outputs here there so it's grabbing everything and sticking in here, and we are going to have to filter this to Firestone. Oh, wait. I don't want to filter it. I want to filter this to Firestone. Airstone. Waterstone. And Earthstone. Okay. And we'll upgrade it a couple of times. I don't think we need to upgrade it fully. Alright. So that is filling up slowly. And then we need four out outputs from this going up here. To the mana reactor. So... But before we build that, let's put in this stuff there i don't think we need more than three here we need to level up just a tad so and the receiver there and we need some belts there and there and some pipes Going up here, going around, down and in, and the bypass. Okay. Then we just need some mana crystals, which we can grab from over here. So, build a caravan, grab mana crystals, and we'll move you down here and fill it up. So that this is done. And we definitely don't need more than that. All right. I guess we need more earth crystals in here. We will figure that out. But I think we do because this one is not really getting any well, not that many anyway. Let's just see if we can put in these uh, air stones. Would be nice. Okay, what about the earth stones? Are we even storing earth stones anywhere? I guess we are. Alright. Just a few more air stones, and this is fully. Functional. Okay. Takes six seconds and one blue coin for each. So we're using a lot of blue coins on this. That's okay. So we will. Mm, I think we'll come out. Do I wanna? I do. I wanna level this down. Like so. 
and then I want to come out here. That's not doable. So, something like that. And then we need to come up, come up some more. And even more. That should work. Right? Yeah. Let's pause and say logistics block grabber. Since we're already grabbing the fire stone, we will put firestone in there. Okay. And then we just need four more of these. So, come out to there, and do this, there we go. And here we will put in a grabber and say you are airstone. And get you going. Alright, so that's two of them. That is two of them. Why are they not going into the mana reactor? Oh, dang it. They need crystals. It needs crystals. Uh oh. Uh oh. So we can definitely do this. Which kind of sucks, but hey, it is what it is. Alright. And we can do this. So yeah, we need some more space because we need one of each temple over here to make turn them into crystals and then we need to send them up there to the mana reactor where they will be turned into Omni Stones. So we need a lot more space. But we're going to have to find that space in the next episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.